But we're not that adaptable. I promise you. Seven billion people require a lot of food. It's a lot of corn, a lot of wheat, a lot of soy. Hell, it's about a lot of everything. You ever see one of those super tankers go by out there in the ocean? They carry about a million barrels of oil in them. It's about 20 minutes worth. We are screwed! <laughs> we are so screwed! You need to laugh or you can cry. <laughs> Probably wise to do both. The weather is going to get much, much wilder. All those tornadoes this spring, stork, record outbreaks. How many times you heard record in the news lately? <coughs> Excuse me. Probably have some chemtrail disease. <laughs> Yep. Did you see that incredible video today over in Phoenix, Arizona? Dust storm moving in. Some scary shit, wasn't that? Gonna happen more frequently, people. It already is. Between hurricanes and earthquakes and droughts and floods and blizzards and <coughs> All of it's going to become more frequent, more disastrous, things we've never seen before in man's little puny time here on Earth. Just remember, once your neighborhood that the tornado comes through and rips out the very structure and life that you've built for years. Seconds is destroyed. Just remember, it was humanity's avarice that disrupted the natural homeostasis this planet has enjoyed for millennia. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <coughs> Historically, the planet has gone through all kinds of changes. Some of it quick, most of it really, really slow for millions of years. Of course, when humans came along, we we just had to step on the gas there and frolic with our blessing of oil. More of a curse, really. Yeah. You hear about that over there in Europe? where the European finance minister is trying to polish the shit turds floating in Greece. Yeah, those junk bonds they got over there. Of course, they're being rated as junk, which is a de facto default. But let's change the rules. Yeah. We don't like the way that looks, so let's change the rules. Let's suspend ratings of bonds altogether while we're doing all this bailouts and sticking it to the people of Greece. <laughs> Portugal just got downgraded again. Oh, it's going to get scary. It's good. I'm all for, I'm all ready for this... Uh, this stupid thing called the economy, the end, needs the end. Capital, capitalism is raping the world. We don't 
don't care if brown people get in our way, we will kill them. We have no problems with that. As long as it makes us money, it gives us power. Now we got a brown person in the office and he's doing the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, all those uh, weapons manufacturers, they're making a killing right now. Bullish! Making those tanks, those planes, and guns, and ammo, bombs. Bombs that will rip a family apart. Their limbs rip from their bodies. Huge pools of blood, bone, tendons, and ligament blown to bits. And while our soldiers go, woo hoo hoo! Totally detached from the humanity of it. Although they were shooting things, they're people, they're humans. Even if the CIA wasn't with Al-Qaeda, wasn't behind the whole orchestration of the meaning behind 9-11 and all the ensuing wars that followed it, even if that wasn't the case, and there was Al-Qaeda as talked about in the news and in the media, even if there was, you think we're going to win? It's already being knowledge. Al Qaeda is all over the place, even in here in this country. Yemen, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Libya, Iran, Pakistan, India, they're all over the place. Terrorists can be anywhere, it can be anybody. So you hear about a drone taking out an Al Qaeda commander. We're winning the war? How? It's like the war on drugs. There will always be drug dealing. There will always be drug manufacturers. People growing opium. People growing marijuana. Hell, our CIA wants it. This is about making money. This is about power. This is about psychopathic men. It didn't have to be this way. Just in, there's something wrong with humanity. A good chunk of humanity for a long time saw themselves as part of the world. Saw themselves no different than the deer trampling through the woods. They considered them their brother. Hunts were done with reverence. Reverence for the sacrifice. For the life taking. We've got to stop, people. I, I know it's too late. We're going to go extinct. I like that. Let me know when you see an astronaut in the unemployment line. Yeah. Spend nearly, what, $200 billion on the space program over 440 years? <laughs> we spend $4 trillion fighting killing people in only 10 years. Shows where our priorities are. It sure isn't to explore space, the final frontier. I'll tell you what the final frontier is. The time left here on Earth, that's the final frontier, because, you know, I'll be surprised.
if the next generation makes it. We cannot. Society cannot just keep endlessly growing. It cannot do it. <laughs>